sorry, we don't have anything for you. Good luck. Sorry, pal. Better luck next time. Why can't I get a job? I don't know what to say. I've tried everywhere. No one will give me a chance. And you say you haven't had employment since? Not since World War II. But that was over 60 years ago. I made all the uniforms, canvas, rope. The government even made a film about me called Hemp for Victory. Hemp for Victory. Support the war effort by growing hemp. Paid for by the United States military. It says here that you have over 25,000 qualifications. It's true. I can make paper, plastics, clothing, cosmetics, food, fuel, medicine. All right, okay. My ancestors made the paper on which the Declaration of Independence was written. You don't say. The fuel I can produce is clean burning, non-toxic, and would only cost 50 cents a gallon. <laughs> really? If they let me make paper, we would never have to cut another tree. I can make plastic that's non-toxic and biodegradable. I can make food which contains all of our nutritional needs. I can replace all non-renewable renewable raw materials. I'm stronger and more versatile than all other plants derived fibers, including cotton and wood. I can grow anywhere without pesticides or any harmful chemicals. I even add nutrients to the soil and can clean up toxins from the ground. Hold on a second. I think I see the problem here. You want to tell me about your cousin? He's harmless. I mean, he's never seriously hurt anyone. I'm not saying he's a good influence necessarily. It's going to be a problem, Hemp. He's not me. I don't have anything to do with him. He's my cousin, that's all. What can I say? I'm hardworking, efficient, clean. There's almost nothing I can't do. I could save the world! I'm sorry. There's nothing I can do. Hey, good luck to you, Hemp.